Finally got in the end zone. Yeah. Had, had that one until you went up and got that one. Well, this is my second time getting in the end zone. Yeah. So, <laughs> but uh, but no, nah, um, it, it's, it's it's great, man. It was um, honestly really a blessing, man. You know, I just I really uh, get get credit and glory all to God, and you know, being able to be in this position is. Is um it's really humbling and um you know I'm really excited to be a part of this team and um you know just like I said just taking it day by day week by week and um you know just continue just to build and continue to um you know be 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 a be a great player for this team so yeah. How much fun is this offense when it seems like everybody gets to eat, everybody has a hand? Yeah, on yeah, absolutely. I think it's a lot of fun, man, because you know you you have some offenses offenses where you know the ball is not coming to you and you and you know that, but with a guy like Tua. Um, you know, and the, the offense and how he understands the offense and the way that he's able to spread the ball around. You always have to be prepared, um, and he's going to get you the ball. And it's just a matter if you're prepared. If you're if you're not prepared for your opportunity, then that's on you. And so, um, it's a lot of fun, man. Because every any given moment, you know, when you're out there, you could be like, this could be the play. It could be any. It could be anybody. And so, um, and as a receiver room, we take a lot of pride in that. You know, day in and day out, we know. That um, you know, we're all we're all we all have to be alert because we know that you know Tua he can have one read and he'll he'll see something and he'll he'll throw it and we got to be ready. So it's a lot of fun. The celebration penalty just a little too excited there in the moment. Yeah, it was a, just just too excited, man. I, I kind of I kind of got beside myself a little bit, man. And um, I told the team that you know that that definitely was on me, and um, you know I got to make sure I learn from it, which I will. Um, but you know, in that in that moment, you know, it's just you get so. You get so juiced up, man. But um, definitely something that I definitely would have liked to, you know, take it back. But um, you know, it's, it's a part of the game, and so, so yeah. Like the throw by Tua, and then find oh, yeah. the catch by you oh, in the end yeah. zone. So Absolutely. just walk us through what you saw on the play. Yeah, you know, like I said, just being alert. You know, you always had to be alert when the, when, when Tua was in the game, man. Like that that ball wasn't even supposed to come to me, and I just knew, you know, reading the corner, um, you know, seeing that he kind of kind of came down on Tyreek. And I knew that the ball was going to be in the air, so you know I just looked straight up in the air, and I just knew that I knew it was there. And um, you know, Tua trusted me to trusted me to go make a play, and um, it was a great ball. I mean, beautiful ball. I had no choice but to catch it. <laughs> so um, you know, you know, major props to Tua for that ball, man. And um, so yeah. How about your teammate celebration for you? It just felt like everyone was so happy for yeah. you, even Coach McDaniel at the yeah. end. Yeah, yeah, no, absolutely, man. I think it's it's a blessing. Like I said, it, it's, it's it's a blessing and. You know, being able to get that touchdown back from, you know, Detroit, um, you know, I definitely want that one, but, you know, it is what it is. And um, I think that's a probably the reason why a lot of the guys are kind of happy for me because they know they know I got robbed in Detroit. So, um, but, but we all, but, you know, it's, it's all good, man. And, I'm proud of you. I'm, I'm grateful. So, yeah. yeah. I told you it was coming. You guys are in first place now. How does that sound? The Bills just lost. It sounds great to me. Um, I mean, you know, like I said, to me, I – we're just worried about week to week, you know, um, game to game. And, you know, honestly, for me, I'm ready to get on this bye week, rest up, and, you know, kick it with my family a little bit and, uh, you know, just kind of, you know, get these nicks, uh, these nicks and bruises down a little bit and get ready to come back and uh, play against the Houston, Houston, Texas back home. So, so yeah. When the, when the running game got going, it's just how much yeah. did that open it up for you as a receiver and then yeah. the, the possibility of what this offense can look like now when it runs the ball. Up. Yeah, no, absolutely. I think as a, as a receiver, we, we know, we understand that, the pass game only goes as the run game goes, and um, you know, in our room, we say, we, we, if you don't block, you don't, you don't get the rock, you know. And we got guys that are devoted; they locked in, and um, you know, more than willing to go block. Because we got guys in our in our backfield um, that can that can tote the rock really, really hard. You got Raheem, you got Jeff, and it's exciting to see those guys on the ball. And they don't they don't get to have those opportunities if we're not doing our job as a receiver for it. And so we understand that, and we know that. If the run game is going, then we just know that we'll get more space. We'll get one-on-ones. We'll get, you know, the the, the looks that we that we want as a receiver as a receiving group. And then it's time for us to go eat. So it's just about playing complimentary football and just being selfless. And we got a lot of selfless guys in our room. So yeah.